Okay. Explain, explain your shit. Okay. So, Space Jam, I'll tell you the premise. What happens, first things first, Michael Jordan is no longer playing basketball. It's, it's his career in baseball, which he's terrible at, and they make fun of him several times in the movie about being really bad at baseball, but he's playing it. This one dude's like, Jordan, you gotta come back to basketball. Jordan's like, nah, man, I ain't about that life anymore. So he goes out, he stopped, he does, he's not, he's still playing baseball. And, uh, but in the meantime, when it cuts over the Looney Tune town, which is actually underground, through this giant Warner Brothers logo that stretches between the Earth and Hell, which is actually Looney Tune town, um, there's like this, they're, they're, they're like, aliens come down there, and the aliens are like, yo, we challenge you to basketball. And what happens is the Looney Tunes know they can't win. Bugs Bunny's been playing some basketball. He sucks. So, uh... So they're like, we need somebody. We need somebody to help us Boom. out. So like they, they go up to. They go. Up, they find Michael Jordan. Please. Okay. Well. well you're right. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. Just. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. They find Michael know. Jordan on Earth. He's in the process of playing you golf. As he plays golf, they use a magnet to track his ball to the hole. He gets a hole in one. Everybody's like, Michael, how'd you do that? He's like, I'm just the best. You know, I got, I'm, I got the golf spirit in me. And then he walks over to the hole, and then they suck him down to the Looney Tune town. He breaks the barrier between. Uh, Warner Brothers Town, which is actually hell, like I said before, and Earth. And when he does that, he goes down there, and they're like, "Dude, we don't know how to play." They're like, "We don't know how to play basketball. You gotta help us." So he tries to help, uh, to help him play basketball, but they they actually suck. And he's and he's trying to coach him through it and stuff, but he doesn't really believe in him because you know he's Michael Jordan. He's seen, you know, he's he's used to playing with the best. These guys suck. But then this lady comes in. And she's like a lady bunny, and Bugs Bunny's all about that. He does this weird like thing where his body just stretches out and becomes like, like stiff, and it's it really erotic. It's supposed to be, it's weird. Um, and he does that when he sees Lola Bunny, and he's like, oh man, we should hang out. And he calls her doll one time, and then she like dunks him, like dunks on him in basketball, and he gets oh God, fucking that echo, And they're like, oh shit, uh, she's actually real good at basketball. And then she's like, don't call me doll. And he's like, oh, I won't do that. And then that's what happens. That, that, at that point. Then, uh, I forget exactly how this transitions, but then the aliens decide they need to also get good at, uh, they, oh, shit. They also need to get good at basketball. But they suck. They actually suck. So what they do, oh, uh, this may have happened before. I may be a little bit backwards on the time for this, but it's close enough. So the aliens... They go out and steal the souls of some of the biggest basketball players of the time. So, like, Charles Barkley and, like, some other two dudes that nobody gives a shit about. And, uh, so they come, they steal their souls and put it in a basketball. And they use it to be big, giant, hulking monsters when they were, like, little tiny aliens before. So, you know, the Looney Tunes get dunked on. They, they get them wrecked by these monsters. And so, they, they, you know, they have Michael Jordan on their team. And these aliens have the spirits of the other basketball players. So they train, and it comes down to the big day. Uh, actually, uh, I forgot the most important scene where Michael cool. Jordan needs his shoes from his house, but for some reason he can't go to his own home to get his shoes. No, it's wait, wait. I think it may, I think it may, it's either his shoes. Yeah, it's his shoes. It's his, they need his shoes, and so they go to his house and they try and get the shoes, and put the dog there. The dog really doesn't like Daffy Duck or Bugs Bunny, so they have to run away from the dog and try not to wake up the kid. And it's all this weird scene where it's like, why couldn't Michael Jordan just go get his shoes? I don't know. So then they go back, and they're, 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 they're ready for the big game, and they go out to play, and they are getting absolutely destroyed by the monsters. The, oh, uh, I forgot the best part. The monsters basketball team is actually the Monstars, because they're basketball oh. stars. Oh. Greatest name. And, uh, and meanwhile, this whole time, uh, Charles Barkley and his team of basketball wash-ups uh, have been have been sucking real bad at basketball, and they try and go they try and go play the street basketball with some kids, and the kids are like, "You suck, bro! You ain't even Charles Barkley for real!" Like they thought he was Charles Barkley, but then but then he loses to some kids in basketball, and they they shame him for the rest of his life. So, you know, they've been sucking. They there provide support and shit, but you know they act. You know the Looney Tunes are in the game. They're, they're losing pretty hard. Michael Jordan's trying to save the team, but they end up being like super, super behind. You know, they're, they're, and uh, they like kill Tweety Bird. Like the monster straight up murder Tweety Bird. She's what? dead. And <laughs> that, that's pretty sad. Even and then everybody's, you know, really yeah. disheartened. And, uh, and then Michael Jordan's like, look guys, I, I know how we're gonna win this. I got my special juice. And he pulls out <laughs> his water bottle and he's like, this is, my, this is, this is what we like to call Mike's stuff. That's actually what it's called. He calls it his stuff, and uh, they—they're like, "We're all—we're oh, gonna drink Mike's stuff," and he's like, "Yeah, you are." So they go over there, 
and uh, he starts Sometimes letting them drink it. They all drink it, and they're like, we good at this game now. So then they start winning against the monsters, the monsters, excuse me, and uh, they realize, they're like, that they can do it. They can win the game, and then they're, they're so close, but then they run out of the juice. And they're like, but how are we going to do this without your juice, Mike? And he's like, you don't know. The strength was, was in you the whole time. That was water. And they're like, oh my god. And so then they get to the last thing. They play in basketball. They about to, the, the monsters are cheating. You know, they're cheating pretty hard. They're about to, all Jordan needs is this one last dunk to win the game. And he runs up. He's about to get a shot. The monsters tackle him. Straight up grab his legs from behind. He can't go anywhere. Monsters are holding him in place. And then all of a sudden, he does this thing where his arm stretches out from half court all the way to the basketball goal and he dunks sick. that shit. And that's the end of the movie. That's it. He gets his arm stretched out to infinity. That, oh, that scene grossed me out as a kid. Because it started making like this rubber stretching noise and it was really gross. And I was like, why would you do that? That's sad. That's the movie.